Ride that bronc now. That's how you build a hard and fast. A real cowboy can uh, break a grass rope by doing that. Did you know that? Oh, by putting around his hips like that? Yeah. Now you can start seeing it starting to make the shape a little yep. better now. Mm. <laughs> Got a re retard on the fork here. <laughs> my first time. <laughs> now that's my camera shied it. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Ow! Ow! Yeah! Cowboy! There you go. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to try to keep I'll get any bumps, okay? Okay. <laughs> morning, y'all. It's a beautiful morning. Arden and Casher rock in the back seat. Cliven's driving. We got the boss with us today. So today, we're going up to First Water. We're going to cut across. A couple of us are going to hop down on the Model A road and try to drive some cows up out of that wash. And the other one of us is gonna go around a fence pasture we got, kick a bunch of cows off into the bench, into the wash, and there's a road about three miles above there we're gonna try to drive them to. And if Cliven times it right, he's got his figures right, he will meet us there and we'll have him roped, and all he's gotta do is just open the gate, right? <laughs> all right. That, that wash is called Nickley Creek. That's the main wash going off Bunkerville Mountain. You can get a trail up there, and the cows might not still be in the woods, but they were there last night. They ought to still be there in something very close. All right, we're on the move. Let's go. All right, we're backing up. We just saw some cows. We're gonna try to hide from them while we get this. <laughs> while we try to get the horses out so they don't take off running. The window is so dirty. That right over there on the other side of that ridge. Dogs, there. <laughs> Me and Gasher. Hiding Bronx today. Oh, 
There we go. Yeah, I got him. Hell yeah, dude, you got, you had both of them. <laughs> I knew I was gonna lose them. I knew too, I was waiting, but that was still cool. Come here. Ooh. You got him? Yeah, we can get him. Yeah. Dude, they're lovebirds. Dude, dude boyfriend, girlfriend. Does my camera still look decent? Yeah. Okay. We're loaded back in the truck and we're going to continue driving and looking for more cows. Like that mountain, I mean, it, it was wet, like in last rainstorms did it, but it just, they're dead, pretty dead. If you know what this thing is, put it in the comments because I think it's like a mini heart. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's cows running down the wash. We're gonna go get them. Oh my gosh. Uh. Hi, 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 hey, hey, girls, hey, 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 
There you go. Oh, girl. Hey, mamas. Okay, well I guess let's just, the dogs can stop them great, but if not, we'll just start picking them off. It's about all we can do. Should get five, right? Yeah, two Maverick cows and I think five calves. Or... Freaking tree. All the way through it. Here we go. After everyone tied down the first one, we continued after the herd where there was one more calf and one more maverick cow. <laughs> Ah! 
Ah, Grab it, Clancy. We'll get this one branded and we'll go load all the others. Cash is blown on the fire. We're getting, this cow's gonna get branded and let go. So let's get it done. He's good. Dude, that's freaking cool. All right, she's officially branded to the Bundy Ranch. Woo. Okay, let's let her up and let her roam. Be careful, she'll probably come at you. Atta boy! <laughs> 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 Atta boy! Shake and bake, baby. I, no. It fires me up, man. I love it. Say it one more time. Shake and bake! <laughs> Does that feel good? Yeah, it rhymes. <laughs> They're both verbs. I always knew you were a rodeo or clown. I didn't know you were a rodeo clown. <laughs> <laughs> Somos hombres, so payasos. <laughs> Somos payasos, way. Oh. That was good. Okay, now we're gonna like, go down and stay in the we'll get the ring. other. We'll go get the other uh, calves and we'll get them to the trailer. Get them loaded. <laughs> okay, come on, buddy. Hey. We're gonna get this bull up and see if we can't get him down close to the trailer. Hush. Uh, this horse is not afraid of him. Hush. There you go. Oh my gosh, he's pretty. Now that's a pretty little bull calf. Why, thank you. <laughs> No, you're just the bull. Oh. You can't say calf no more when you got a kid. While Cash and I led this little bull back to the truck and trailer, Clancy and Cliven loaded the other three calves. Here we go. Boy. This is uh, one of our waters up here in the mountain. Our boys. Oh. oh. <laughs> Little tender, We're all a little tender after that run. Yeah, that was a pretty, was like a solid rock pit. pretty crazy day. Get them. Drink horse? up. I can get us a water tank. So after our horses and dogs got water, we took a little rest and ate our lunch. We had Philly cheesesteaks that the wives made, so heck yeah. A little Philly cheesesteak. Mm. Mm. Okay, we're loading up. We got all the calves loaded. We're gonna head back towards the ranch and see what more cows we can catch. Oh. All right, so we're gonna do some truck talk while we're looking for cows. My uh, Cliven's gonna tell us a little story. So, there's a guy, uh, family named Whitworth, and uh, one of the uncles, he, he would ro rode down the river uh, past the Bundy Ranch and on down towards Lake Mead. And uh, I don't know how far he had rode, but he lived in Bunkerville, which is, you know, about 12 miles on up the river. 
until one day he comes past. What do you do is drive and go down there and try to rope calves and brand them, you know, to, for their family. And anyway, one time he come past the house and he was dragging his rope. It might have been right about the time the nylon rope started to come out. But he had a kink in his rope and he couldn't get a, the kink out to make a loop. And he was dragging it and so dad asked him, Where? How, how can I be dragging your rope? He said, Oh, the darn thing's got a kink in and I can't get it out. I've been dragging it for miles, he said. <laughs> <laughs> So if you get a kink in your rope, the moral of the story is just drag it for a couple of miles. It will straighten right out. <laughs> Well, here they are. These are our catches from yesterday and today, all mixed together. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for us today. Thank you guys for following along. Remember to subscribe. We're gonna be roping wild cows here on the Bundy Ranch all winter long. So this season's about to get wild. We're gonna head out to the whole nother part of our ranch where we have a lot of big wild bulls. So we're gonna go get those ropes. So make sure to subscribe and follow. And uh, thank you guys, have a good day.